Um, so I just want to ask you a few questions about what it's been like having therapy over video. Um, we, we saw you for an assessment at Global Link in Cardiff late last year in 2019. And then we started therapy uh, with video because of COVID um, at the end of March 2020. And we've had seven sessions over uh, three or four months now. What, what, what's it been like having video by video? It's been very strange to get used to uh, because it's normally easier to talk to somebody in person uh, and then express yourself like you see the body language and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, definitely it taught me a bit about technology as well, but it's, it has helped knowing that with everything else going on, you can still reach out to people and people were there to help you. Yeah. So it was definitely a, yeah, definitely a good thing. Yeah. So you might have been a bit apprehensive about saying yes to therapy by video initially. Yeah, it was like just, just the fact of doing a therapy was a, a big step. And then like thinking, okay, as long as I've got somebody there, because sometimes you feel like in the room where you've got no one else there, you can still feel isolated mm. when you're trying to explain certain things. So doing it this way, it, uh, the way it was done, I thought it was really, really much better okay. than what I anticipated it was going to be. Okay, good. So, so what are the good things about doing it by video rather than come to see us in person in Global Link? Well, it helps fit in with your, obviously you're doing shift work and stuff like that. You can get to do a video from anywhere. Like if I was in work tonight, my boss already said that if I was in work, I could still do it from work. Ah, cool. Yeah, so it's easy to do that. Just go into a, a separate classroom and then set it all up. We've got Wi-Fi in work, so I could have done it from there. So that, that does help if you have got a busy schedule with work or with childcare or anything else. Yeah. Uh, that really made a difference. Yeah, cool. Was there anything you didn't like about having therapy for PTSD by video? I was really unsure how I was going to react. And then, I mean, you, you, you set it up really, really well. Uh, but if you... To go back into it and start reliving some of them things, it was really a big unknown, an unknown thing. Now, like the first time, it was like I'm looking around for it, and then eventually I started getting into the the, the rewind ethos and stuff like that. After the first couple, I felt I knew exactly what I was expecting, and it was getting into a routine of doing it and understanding what you're doing it for, really, and the benefits of it as well. Yeah, good. Well, you've done really well, and on, on a scale of 0 to 100, 0, um, PTSD treatment by video hasn't helped 100 on completely cured. Where would you say today? I'll say between 80 and 85. I think there's always going to be that element there, but it's uh, definitely, I just feel much better about everything, feel better about myself, the people around me, how I fit into the environment I'm in. I just, it's just massive difference. And I didn't realise how bad it was until now, looking back. I can see how bad I was. And what would you say to other veterans with service-related mental health problems about having therapy by video? To do whatever you can to put it right. If, if whether it be video, it's definitely a good way of doing it because you, if you do really start worrying, you're in control of that environment. You're not trapped, as well as the, the people on the other side. So it's, it's definitely worth doing. And if you do find it's too much, you can just stop it there, then go back to it another time. Yeah, great. Steve, you've done really well with therapy. Thanks for doing it by video. And thank, thank you for offering it and helping me out.